Right, these are our two new pups that we've got running about here today to show you. So I want to show you a little bit of training with some of the dogs and to make your life easier. And I'm purposely using these two so you can see I'm not cheating. It's not an older dog who knows what they're doing already. Okay, so I'm going to pass the phone over to Rachel. Give you that, Rachel. So what I'm going to do is, the first one I want to show you, which I think is a really important one, is door training. So whether or not you want to stop them going in a certain room or you want to stop them following you out the front door and you let the postman in, the visitor in, whatever. So we're going to use this because it's quite an important one to see. Okay. Ah! Wait. So if we're watching the dogs, if I, when they're still looking at me like this, if I walk away, they're going to follow me, right? Ah! But if I wait for the change, don't ignore me. And the change is when they walk off and give in, I know I can leave that door then and without them following me. And I'm just going to show you, make it a little bit harder. Come on then, babies. Come here. We're going to do it with the actual front door so it's exciting going outside. You come with me, Rachel. We'll make it a little bit harder. Shut that seat. Come on in and shut the stair gate. So I'm not going to tell them off yet. disagreeing with me that noise. No! Back in! 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 We have to wait for the change. who owns it so that can be your visitor that can be your takeaway from you sat cross legged on the floor with your takeaway all they care about is who owns it so if you show them that you own it they will have respect for it so i'm just gonna use some food that's mine it's the same as the door we're gonna claim it no ah. no I'm not hurting them, I'm just blocking them. No. No. Ah! Good girl. So each time you'll notice when I've done this, the little Maltese has given in faster than the Pom, which shows she's a more submissive dog than he is. Ah! I'm gonna move away from this, make it harder for them. So the Maltese has completely given in, she's left. Ah! So all dogs are different. Some will try harder than another. Mine. Mine. Good babies, well done. You don't get it though. Good babies. So if this had been a visitor coming in, you're bringing a visitor in through your door and your dogs are getting all excited, what most people do is grab their collar or pick them up to stop them going to the visitor. That's the wrong thing because you're physically blocking them. So what I want you to do when you go to your door to let somebody in, have the dogs behind you. So when you come in, you shoo them away like you do with the door frame. With your person coming in behind you, walk the dog's back, your person comes in, sits down, the dog's are not allowed to greet the person until the dogs are calm and you say so. So you want to block so they learn that that person belongs to you. And that's the same for anything, whether it be a child coming in, anything at all. So all you've got to remember, no matter what you're training, show them that you own it. All they care about is who owns it. If you own it, they'll respect it. 